as leaders, we shall not sit back and watch people destroy lives and property of Kenyans. We shall be in the forefront to protect the lives and the property of our people, be it in the central business district or in other areas around our country, Your Excellency. Now, to see who's your Your Excellency, you are Jana Nilisema to Kiwa and Deputy President Pale Kirinyaga. Yakua Raila Odinga is a mercenary for hire. And the person who is bankrolling these demonstrations is your predecessor, Mr. President. Because out of political pettiness, he wants to be seen to have been the greatest of all times of the presidents who have served this republic. And I did ask yesterday respectfully to our former president, act in a respectful manner as those that were before you acted. Retire peacefully and allow those who have been given the mandate under the constitution to exercise their authority in line with the constitution without either undermining or sabotaging the work that this administration has begun to rebuild the economy that you destroyed under the handshake regime. And your manner, your excellency, because we know the singular intent of these people is not to picket, is not to force back the Cherera for into office, neither is it to reverse the outcome of the August 9th, 2022 elections. Because, Your Excellency, the moment you submit yourself to an electoral process, you submit yourself to the whims and dictates of our constitution, and therefore you cannot turn back six months after and now demand that you have alternative ways of getting access to power and political power in a democratic country like this one. What they are doing is extra constitutional and is tantamount to a coup. And these are acts that are treasonable. And I will ask you, Your Excellency, without fear, without ill will, without favoritism, act decisively. If someone stages a coup under the pretext of pursuit of Article 1 of the Constitution, Nobody, as you said the other day, is above our laws. Nobody, including the former prime minister and the former president and their families, because their families are bankrolling these demonstrations, Your Excellency, to instill fear in government and the people of Kenya. Na sababu ni mimi nilisema na ndugu yangu deputy president Pia Kasema. Ile uporaji ilifanyua chini ya serikali iliyopita ni lazima ifuatiliwe mpaka tamati na wale walipora mali ya wa Kenya wajue huwezi tumia pesa ulizopora kuja kuhujumu serikali ili usifuatiliwe wale ambao walikwepa kulipa kodi taxation lazima walipe your excellency unajua tulisema juzi mambo ambayo inaendelea kwa bunge na hayo asikusumbue rais through the National Assembly and the Senate, we shall ensure that we hold people to account. Those who looted this country through the telecom saga will answer. Those who are involved in the cancer COVID billionaires will have their day to answer. Hata wale ma contractor na watu wa familia kubwa kubwa walienda kupora mali kupitia wizara ya kipchumba murkomen kwa barabara ya kutoka Lamu kwenda Garissa ya Eastern Bypass ya Western Bypass ya Nairobi Expressway you will have your day to answer to the people of Kenya and we will not allow you to intimidate us using violence and threats to violence 